Welcome to another video. I'm Dave and this time we talk about the super formula. So the super formula is just the next logical step after learning how the polar coordinates work. The general concept is very similar to the polar coordinates, but instead of using a static radius like for a circle or a gradient radius like in a spiral, it uses a math function to determine the radius at the given point. You can find that math function for example on Wikipedia and here you can also see the possible outcome of the function. As you can see there is a wide variety of shapes you can create with this. So let's go back into Houdini and implement that concept. As I said this starts exactly with the same basics as the polar coordinates. Again we need the amount of points we are going to use and then a definition for the steps it will take to make a full circle. If you missed that video you can watch it over here but the gist of it you need to multiply pi by 2 and divide the result by the amount of points you have. Then we need a variable for the angle and a position and now we come to the super formula. The super formula uses six parameters. The first two are called a and b. Most of the time those two values are always set to 1. So let's take another look at the Wikipedia page. Let's try to get this cross shape. And to get that shape the values for the following parameters should be 4, 1, 7 and 8. So the next parameter is called m, here we enter the 4 and then we have three values n1, 2 and 3. To get the cross shape we already know that we need 1, 7 and 8. So again we need to create a position and then add a new point at that position. We do this in a loop, one iteration for each point. And again with polar coordinates this was the x position is equals the cos function for a specific angle multiplied by the radius. And if you want to create a shape that stands upright we provide the y position next but this time we use the sine function again with the same angle multiplied by the radius. Now we add a point at that location and to rotate the next position we add our calculated steps value on top of the angle. And this was the basic polar coordinates. As you can see we now get a circle. So what do we have to change to transform this circle into the super formula shapes? Let's bring up the math function again. So basically we only need to manipulate the radius before we multiply it with the angle to get the position. To do that I create some additional variables and then recreate the math function block by block. Let's start with this part. We need the cos function and in it we multiply m with the angle. Still inside of the cos function we divide by 4 and altogether we divide by a. We need the absolute result of that and take it to the power of n2. For that we use the power function. Now we can copy that whole statement and change it to what we need to get the sign value. Instead of a we divide by b and the power function uses n3. And last but not least as final step we add both of those values, use the power function and this time to an overall negative block and in it we have 1 divided by n1. And that's basically it. If we apply this we should get our cross shape. And there it is. Now to get the other shapes all you have to do is to change the parameters that go into the math function. For example if we change m to 2 and set all three n parameters to 0.5 we get another interesting curve. And of course I also added this as a new functionality in my asset right beside the polar coordinates. So if I enter the same values as before we get the same shape from the asset. But now we can play around with it and find out how the parameters affect the radius at each location. To make this tool a bit more useful I also added the functionality to connect the points. That way you can use this shape to sweep a curve for example. But since I needed this myself I just added that functionality also into the asset. So if you would create a curve. We sample it to create subdivision curves and create tangent normals. You can put that curve into the second input of the asset. Toggle use incoming curve and you get this. Something to play around with.
ancestors. 